What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 23 of our Brentford career mode. And today, we have a couple games where we have Watford in the league, West Ham in the league, as well as Leeds United. So, you know, a couple of teams that um, we should contend with. Last episode, we had an incredible episode. We beat Manchester City, we beat Tottenham, beat Wolves, and we still only sit on 19 points after 12 games which tells you how poor our start was and you kind of expect it at um just jumping up a level like this but west ham and watford are toward the bottom watford are dead last after 12 games they have four total points which is very very poor um west ham sitting right above the relegation zone on 10 points from 12 games and leeds united sitting on 13 points from 12 games so i I don't want to say we should you we should do well today but this is one of those days where you hope to get points um, you hope to get as many points as you can to really kind of push forward into the season in our scenario so we're gonna do our best of course we're gonna make a couple changes here we're gonna get Gwehi in um, we're gonna get Bryant in as well and I think Fosu is just gonna have to permanently come off the bench when he there he doesn't really play a ton um we'll bring balagoon onto the bench and we'll jump right on into this so brentford watford of course we came up with watford let's see if we can go ahead and pile on more misery watford coming forward wanting to grab the first goal here oh i've let him step in touched on here jesus i would have freaked out i was waiting for Guayhi to go ahead and get a touch on that, but we've given the ball away otherwise, and we're we're losing. That's silly. Silly, silly stuff at the back here. First, I'm waiting for Guayhi to pick that ball up. He never does. Pinnock has to come across and just get to it, and then his clearance hits the head of a Watford player, and then they score. Right here, it hits the head of a defender, and now they're in a good position when he gets to it. It's a good finish as it slid across goal, but uh, just silly, silly mistakes. De Silva. Nice movement into space as it comes to Aaron's now. Guay, or not Guay, he Aaron's and then in Buemo. So that comes to Pereira. It's played on one more time to De Silva, and that comes through to Aaron's. And the fullback's on side, and the fullback has scored. I believe that's his first goal for the club. And he's leveled the scoring up here. 1-1 one, one on a half hour. We've been doing pretty well going forward. Just right on the edge of having a couple shooting opportunities. It gets taken off us. But we did well here. Pereira to Silva. Doing well to find the run of Max Aarons. He just kept on running right through those gaps. And eventually we find him. And he plants it into the bottom corner. Nice finish. And it's 1-1. One, one. Watford coming forward. They've got a couple of men here. Step inside. Get a big foot in on it there. Pass out there, though, is not great. And Watford can come again. So we're approaching halftime. Not a ton of action so far. Only the two shots that went into the back of the net. And then that one right there. Just as I mention it. Romero with a decent save. As it is slammed toward him from the edge of the box and the header comes away and it gets pushed all the way back but yes not a ton ton of action not a ton of shots it's been very much like our games were with them in the championship Pereira finds a really good ball out there to Embuemo though and can we hit them on the break before half time as Embuemo does well to cut back inside a good ball out there. We can slide it one more time. That's a great ball to Henry, and it's in the back of the net, and he's offside. I thought for a moment it was going to count. They must have all pushed up. Very, very close to grabbing the lead, and both fullbacks, as you have put the ball in the back of the net. Fortunately for Henry, that one does not count. Throw in here for Watford. Kena. Seto. Space in the middle there for a moment. For a Watford man. Is that it's a really good ball in there? Oh, he's held on to it. That's a good block. It's come back. Great save. Wow, he's held on to that on the byline. I'm not sure how. But Romero comes up with a good save after the original block. As Kana's gonna go off. 
a big part of our Watford series from a year ago. Goes off the pitch and on the corner we are going to go ahead and thankfully get it out of there. Cyprian. Good movement by Watford as they look to grab a lead again as he's just stepped inside there. Good save at the near post. How he stepped inside there I will not know. But Romero comes up with another good save. He's had a pretty decent day today, Romero. As that gets put into a good area and he's punched it away. They are going to be able to rotate this. We do manage to take it off him though, thankfully. Oh, there's a gap in the middle here. That's a really good ball out there. Romero can't get there. Uh, that's a really, really good ball. We give it away in the middle there. Silly stuff as Puseto has given Watford the lead again. This is a really good ball here. Tried to make sure that that pass wouldn't come, but the ball is perfect. Romero goes sliding out. Just gets touched beyond him. We haven't been really at it today so far on either end of the pitch. It's still only a one-goal game, thankfully, but not the performance we were looking for after going ahead and knocking those two top five teams off. Nice play. That's a really good ball. Are we going to be able to catch him? We cannot. 3-1 to Watford on the break, and that might be game over. And they've been struggling and struggling and struggling all year long. We are the newly promoted team that is hitting above expectations at the moment. And we come across them and they have put us in our price a little bit. Really good finish. It's a good ball over the top, but we just have not been at the races today. And it shows on the scoreline. It's to Silva, though, and he can slide that through to Balagoon, who's going to be on side here. And Balagoon, big goal. We might be able to get it back. Right after they score, we hit back. Is there a small miracle here? Two goals in the last ten minutes needed to get a point. We got one of them. He's done well to kind of wrestle off the defender there and then just kind of make space. But it's a good finish from Balagoon. He's put it into the back of the net. It's 84 minutes gone. Can we have one more chance? To go level here. Nice tackle. Heavy touch, but Brian is going to come across it. Now we can push forward. Here's Henry now. Sliding forward with it. Balagoon's making the run here. And Embuemo can make space, but that didn't go to Embuemo for some reason. It's just gone to Embuemo that time. And uh, why did it go to... <laughs> if the pass goes to the right guy there and Embuemo... We might have an opportunity. Unfortunately for us, it doesn't. And it looks like we are not going to get that opportunity to level the game up. And that is a little bit unfortunate, but our performance didn't really deserve any points out of this game. We weren't good enough for an incredibly large stretch there. It finishes 3-2 to Watford. They knock us off and bring us down just a little bit. We were flying high after last episode, and they've kind of just, I don't know, <laughs> bought us down a little bit, bought us back down to earth. The bottom team beating us there, and that brings us down to ninth. We're still two points ahead of Arsenal, possibly a point ahead of Everton after their game. Yes, that is the case. And we sit ninth, which is, you know, obviously a great spot to be in after 13 games. But we don't want to get into a habit of having performances like the one we just had. Especially as the season drags on, we want to go ahead and, you know, not get into one of those types of seasons and have ourselves a battle at the end of it. So let's jump into this game here. We have West Ham. Going to make a change or two. Um, we're going to go ahead and get Henry out of there and bring uh, Mitchell in. I'm going to bring Fours onto the bench. Balagoon grabbed a goal last time. It probably should be him on the bench, but Fours is starting to get a little bit upset. Um, I'm going to bring 
Ali Seda into the team, and then I think I want to go ahead and bring Jensen in as well. And I think that's probably how we'll do it. Though Rai hasn't played for a while, and I kind of want him to just have a decent year, see if we can move some, move him for some money. But let's jump into this. West Ham, Brentford. Let's go. Good play. Once again, they're moving the ball around really, really well. I've switched on to the wrong guy, but that's a really, really good tackle. Comes out here to Tony now, and can we do something on the break? Slides it inside. Ali Seda now, and he can slide that through to Tony. And we might be able to do something on the break. It's a heavy touch from Tony, but that's a good save. And, and Buemo, I thought for a moment he was going to get to that. He hasn't. He's just a foot off or so. Oh, good movement, though. And we give the ball away there, but pretty even start so far. Almost a goal on our end, though. Antonio does manage to get away from Mitchell there. Bit unlucky how that's worked out. And they score from it. Nicely done from Antonio. Mitchell can't quite keep up with some of the quicker wingers in this division. He's normally strength-wise a little bit better than Rico Henry is, but you saw it there. He can't really keep up, and he's not getting anywhere near him, really. And it's a good ball across. I wish Pinnock's turn inside just had a little bit more of an angle to it toward the byline, but we cannot be giving the ball away. Nice ball here. Is a Put it in the side netting. There is some strength and pace up front it's not something you see a ton of on any football team really but West Ham have it in loads pace and strength along the front line as Embuemo's on this and he races into the box slides it back to Tony who scores I saw the run early from Tony I thought I might be able to get to him we held off on it we found him in the end anyway and we hit back relatively quickly 1-1 here and we will take it level with West Ham. It's a good move. It's just a good run up this side. And Buemo does well. Slides it inside. Just keeps going to the byline. Nobody really steps in. They let him go ahead and make that space. As it comes out to Tony, who's just kind of touched that into the back of the net. He's not missing those. And it's 1-1. Bad giveaway here. By West Ham. Do well to turn inside. Here's Ali Seda. And Buemo. Finds Tony in a really good space. And Ali Seda's made the run. And can we grab the lead quickly? We can. What a turnaround. 2-1. And just like that, we're ahead. Two goals in a couple of minutes. We take the ball away there. We drag that center back inside. And Ali Seda just runs off the back of him. It's as simple as that. Tony's on it. Drags the center back across. And Ali Seda finds the space. He makes no mistake with the finish as he slams it into the back of the net. There's 2-1 here. 31 minutes gone. And now we're ahead. Here's Felipe Anderson. They're doing well here to make space. West Ham. For a moment that pass would have snuck in there. But it didn't. Felipe Anderson does well. That's a good save from Romero. Really good save. Felipe Anderson digs it out to Zay. Out there. At the top of the box. And he forced a good save. As the header comes in. That's another good save. And the header comes down. And he puts it wide. That's a pretty big opportunity. As, Rem as Raya had already fallen over there. I, keep, I've been, I hope I haven't been saying Romero this whole time. But it is Raya in goal. Decent couple of saves there, though, for Raya. As Jolice gets into the box, slides it across one more time. It's in the back of the net. And we hit them on the break quickly. Or not on the break. Well, they were kind of getting back slowly off the goal kick. We took advantage. Ivan Tony with another. Comes out here, slips inside. One more time. And Tony's just got to put it on target and does. It's a... It's a good move there, but on 70 minutes, all of a sudden, we have a little bit of control in this game that's been pretty difficult to navigate through, really. 3-1. Kind of force problems, pushing that center back up. 
Space for Felipe Anderson as he gets onto it, but it's given away. Nice take inside. Nice play now. And Tony slips a really good ball in there. And Bryant is going to race away. Now we have a couple of men forward here. And Bryant does well to find Jolis. And it's Jolis to seal this. He does. And what a break that is. As the Greek winner. Winger. <laughs> it gives us the win. It's 4-1 here with 15 minutes to go. That is an incredible break. Bryant does excellently well. Just steps inside there waiting for Jolis to get onside. He does. And then he's through on goal by himself. Picks a spot, finds the lower end of the net. Very, very well done. Very good break. And it's 4 1. Mitchell steps it inside to Bryant. And Bryant can slide that forward. Look at all the space for Jolis. As Jolis wants another, as Jolis, he gets it. Two and a couple of minutes. For the Greek man, it's 5-1, and we are running away from West Ham in the end in a game that was really, really competitive. They could have made it 2-2, and all of a sudden it's 5-1. Goalkeeper shaking his head. What can he do? He's just threw on goals, Jolis. It was a really good run. Diagonal inside. Center backs were nowhere to be found. And we will take it. 5-1. Nicely done there. Of the West Ham forwards as it comes out to Declan Rice who is once again on this right hand side not sure if he's just kind of playing out there or what but with a minute to go it's not going to make too much of a difference as we win it there it's blocked away blow the whistle he does 5-1 the score a very good performance in a very tight game the, the scoreline doesn't really show what's happened in this game as you can see seven shots to six we just happen to be ultra clinical today and late on, we've had a lot of those chances. It was a very tight game, as you saw there. Could have been 2-2 two -two at one end. Two great saves from Raya, who had a good game. And we go ahead and come away with the three points. Moves us up to eighth. One point ahead of Leicester. I think we're three points behind an, a European spot. Seventh, depending on how the cups go and stuff like that. That's a pretty good spot to be in. Of course, Sheffield United in a similar spot in their first year up, though the second year was problematic to say the least let's take a look at our youth squad right now see how everyone's doing got some decent players um in this spot i worry about dexter harris i don't think he's gonna have enough but seymour and um, jackson Rowe, of course continuing to develop nicely still only 16 that pair 15 for the new pair elliot white and enrico diagostino Players who still have plenty of room to grow. This is a really nice um, window he's got. Potential 72 to 94 at 15. We'll see how it goes. I would like to get him... Let's see if we can get him a development plan. He can play CM, CDM. But what do we want from him at the moment? Vision, anchorman, a little bit of speed. Short passing is nice. Ball control, tackling. Maybe he's just not great tackling, so maybe if we just want to move him a little bit further up the pitch, if we can just get him just to CM first. And then we can probably do a little bit more with him. So let's go ahead and get him to CM. And I just don't think he has the defensive stats I would like to see in a player who's going to start at that deeper midfield spot, though. He can always, you know, get those going. But let's jump into this. We have Leeds and Brentford. Um, do we want to change anything? I think we're going to put Gway in for Pinnock. And um, the pace is moving up nicely for Gway. I'd like it to keep on rolling in that right direction. Um, we're going to start... I think I want to start Matondo out on the right ahead of Embuemo today. And that might do it. We're going to bring Fours onto the bench again. Didn't get him on the pitch last time. And I think we can bring Marcondes as well, who hasn't really been a crazy part of this team just yet. I didn't expect him to be a huge part, but it is what it is. We're going to start Brian as well, who hasn't started in a couple of days. So let's jump into this. Leeds United, Brentford. Let's go. Oh, nice takeaway high up the pitch. Now it's Pereira. 
Tony up alongside him. And Tony does well to get into that space. Pereira finds him. 1-0. That's a lovely break. That's what we want to do. We say it all the time. We want to play in space. You cannot give the ball away on the halfway line. You cannot do it. Not with these players. They're too intelligent. That's a really great run from Tony. Just slides off. And the Pereira just steps inside. Manages to get the ball to Tony. Who just touches it. Past the goalkeeper, really. Side foots it into the net. It's a lovely goal. It's a good team goal. And it's 1-0. Really good play, but Henry, thankfully, has the pace to keep up. Good ball out there to De Silva. De Silva slides that in there to Tony, and Tony goes out there to Matondo, who's got quite a bit of pace about him, and he slides it across, and, oh, that's really good goalkeeping. Oh, uh, really, really good goalkeeping again from a man we looked at goalkeeper-wise. I mean, this Melier, that's a really good ball out there to Costa, though, and that's a really awful miss. Leeds have a chance there, their first real chance of the afternoon, first clear-cut one at least, and he has just sliced that. He has got to put that on target at least. Big opportunity wasted for Leeds. Here's Bryant. Bryant does really, really well. Waiting for the runs to open up the Leeds defense. It's Matondo. It's a good save. It's going to go out of play for a corner. It's going to come in now, and Tony can't quite get to that one. Matondo, who had the shot originally on it. Henry. Can we recycle? As Guay, he gets that ball to De Silva. Tries to step inside. Does well enough to hold on to it. It's a good ball out there to Jolis. And Jolis gets a little bit lucky to hold on to it there, but it's eventually taken off him. Nice play here. Geldart. Somerville. It's a good play, and they've got a couple of men forward. It's a really good ball out there. Acosto takes that first time, and he makes up for his really bad miss with an incredible volley. That is a really, really good goal. Man, we just had, we didn't have enough back here. That's a really good ball in. I mean, that's an absurd finish. Excuse the garage if you can hear it in the background. I mean, that is just an absurd finish. Right into the corner of the post there. It doesn't land in the back of the net on the corner, but right in the corner there. I mean, that that's an incredible, incredible finish from Costa. And unfortunately for us, we were on the wrong side of it. Fair play to him. That's a really good goal. So that gets slipped in there to Tony. And Tony goes around Casilla. And we <laughs> scored right off the bat. Really well done from Tony. Still ogling at Costa's goal. And it may be for nothing. I mean, that, this is really well done. Pereira with a perfect pass here. Tony just touches it around Casilla, who doesn't really ever commit. And then slides it into the back of an empty net. Right on the hour mark, we're, we're back ahead. 2-1. Two, Two pretty good goals there. What an incredible one. Nice play out here. Continuing to hold on to it here. Is he onside? He is. 2-2. Two, two. They just continue to hold on to the ball there. Somerville with the goal. Not what we needed. Not what we needed at all. They just kept holding on to it. Get it on them. On their backs. I really thought he might have been offside. He's kind of just put it through the legs of Romero there. A couple changes on our end as well, but... Not exactly ideal. Good play here. Gets clipped into space. We get the header out. We do. Aaron says, well, to just hold on to that on the turn. Lovely play here. Comes out to Tony, and now we have a three-on-two. And Tony can run right through the middle. Jolis, unfortunately, straight offside, but he's onside now. And it comes to Jolis. Really tight angle. Doesn't matter. What a finish. And the Greek man continues to score goals. That's an incredible finish from Jolis. It really, really is. He just gets back onside. This is an incredibly tight angle. Outside the six-yard box, like a yard away from the line, really. But the finish, it's just too much power on it. 
Goalkeeper kind of sticks his arm out underneath it. It's a really good goal, and with 10 minutes to go, we've retaken the lead here. 3-2. Let's see if we can hold off for the three points. Marcondes. It's on to Ali Seda. And Ali Seda can slide that through to Matondo. And Matondo, can he slide that across? Goal, he can! It's in the back of the net. That's game over. It's 4-2. Tony taps it in. Matondo does brilliantly. It's a great ball to him. Aarons does well. Slides it toward the byline. First time across. And Tony just gets there ahead of the center back. Slams it in the back of the net. That's his last action. And with five minutes to go, we have surely sealed the three points. Slide that forward brilliantly. And Bryant is right through the middle here all alone. And we might grab another as Bryant's on it. Steps inside. That's a good save. And uh, tried to slip it across. I was waiting for that guy to kind of open up so I could play it into him. Didn't really happen that way. That really ought to have been a goal. But thankfully, it does not matter. Though Ali Seda might still grab one here. He slides it across in fours. Slams it home. We do get another. A bit of gloss to the scoreline. It's 5-2 with the last kick of the game. Probably not... I mean, probably a little bit flattering this scoreline. But we'll definitely take it. Ali Seda just runs through the middle. Slides it across. Fours is there. Just has to get that on target. And the young man does. Marcus Fours with a goal in the Premier League. 5-2 is going to be the score. Nicely done. Tony goes and collects the match ball. I was unaware he even had a hat trick. He just scores so many goals. Can't imagine the bids we're going to get to him. But we, we had a good game there. Grabbed the win. A 5-2 victory. Six points out of nine today with... The lone loss being the Watford game, which kind of strange to put that performance in there, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at our scouting reports before the end of this game here. I'm going to go ahead and reject these two from Uruguay. Nothing great there. Reject, 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 reject. Nothing out of Italy either. Oh, we got a couple players here from England, though. Got two right there. Reject him. This scout here brings a lot more players back. The other two kind of bring one or two, but he bought seven there. Either way, we got a couple in there. So two English players into the academy, I suppose. Brentford don't have an academy in real life, but I've got no... I mean, in real life, if... They kind of just pick up players that get released by bigger clubs and put them in their reserve team. So, I mean, there's no real academy, but there's like a spot where younger players kind of get a second chance off the big clubs and stuff like that. That's what Brentford have. It is what it is. But we sit in ninth, as you can see. A win here against West Brom will bring us up to eighth ahead of Leicester, which would be pretty cool, and we'd be... Level with Wolves, actually. A pretty big win could bring us ahead of Wolves. A two-goal win could bring us ahead of Wolves. Actually, a one-goal win would be goals four, I suppose, right? So we'd go ahead of Wolves regardless. And we'll be up to seventh, which would be absolutely incredible. But we'll see what games we have next episode. We have West Brom, which is very much winnable, of course. And then we have Leicester and Fulham. So a team around us in Leicester and then West Brom and Fulham teams that are kind of more our level. Um, it's going to be a tight end to the December period here with Fulham, Liverpool, West Ham, Watford all in the space of 11 days or so. It's going to be tight, and then it should calm down a little bit. But, you know, we're in a good spot. We are very much in a good spot. We're going to have some tough stretches toward the end of the year. Everton, Southampton, United, Chelsea. I mean, that's a tough stretch. We had one here before, Arsenal, Bournemouth, City in a row, or Liverpool, Arsenal, Bournemouth, City. So we kind of get our big teams in bunches. Hopefully we're a little bit more prepared the second time around, but a very, very good start to the season, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to move on. And as I said, next episode, we'll have those games, West Brom, Leicester, and Fulham, but Hopefully we can go ahead and keep on rolling. Maybe push for a European spot depending on how the dominoes fall, guys. But that is going to be it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.
and peace.